Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students, welcome to Swayam Prabha. The course title is Principles of Marketing. The lecture title is Product Decisions Part 1. This is Module 6, Lecture 2. I am Dr. Soma Sin Gupta, Associate Professor Commerce, Kamla Nehru College, University of Delhi. In this lecture, we will cover the following topics, types of product and sound product. The next heading is product classification or type of product. The products can be classified majorly into two categories, consumer products and industrial products. Consumer products are the products which are meant for ultimate consumption by the consumers. And this includes convenience goods, shopping goods, speciality goods, durables, non-durable services. Industrial products are all products which are used for the purposes of manufacturing or creating new products, other products. So machines and components, raw materials and supply service and consultancies, electricity and fuels can come under industrial product. We will discuss all these uh, in detail. Consumer products. As we have said, consumer products are those items which are used by ultimate customers or consumers or households and not for further use or sale. Now, these may be further divided on different basis. On the basis of shopping efforts, it can be convenience, shopping, uh, speciality goods, unsought goods, on the basis of durability, it can be durable goods or non-durable goods and as well as it can be services. So on the basis of shopping effort, the first one is convenience goods. As the name suggests, they are purchased frequently, immediately and with minimum of efforts. That's why convenience goods, they are used in day-to-day -day life. They are purchased spontaneously without much consideration from nearby shops or retail malls. So that means a manufacturer of such type of product has to ensure that these products are distributed intensively in every nook and corner of the country. These are highly standardized and faces fierce competition. Such products improve or enhances users' convenience. For example, soaps, biscuits, toothpaste, razors, shaving creams, newspapers, etc. Further, they are also classified into staples that is purchased on a regular basis like the Colgate toothpaste, impulse goods purchased without planning or search efforts and hence they are displayed widely like candy bars placed in the checkout counters or in bakery shops you will find certain products in the at the counter so these are impulse goods as you see those goods and you buy those goods although you might not have planned to buy them emergency goods they are purchased when the need is urgent like suppose the, it, it is raining during the monsoon and you see an umbrella shop you will buy the umbrellas so these are convenience goods the next category is shopping goods. These goods are purchased after a comparative analysis. They are to be chosen among various alternatives or varieties. They are a little expensive in comparison to convenience goods. And the criteria of comparison uh, for such type of because you are a little bit search will go on and uh, you will compare on the basis of quality, price, brand, fashion, style, get up, color, etc. These products require special time and shopping efforts. They are purchased purposefully from special shops or markets. For example, refrigerators, television, wristwatch, footwear, clothes, etc. comes under shopping goods. Further, they are classified as homogeneous shopping goods and heterogeneous shopping goods. When we talk, goods, when we talk about homogeneous shopping goods, buyers see them as similar in quality but different enough in price to justify shopping comparisons. The seller has to talk about price with buyer, um, uh, otherwise uh, they are of similar quality. Uh, 
heterogeneous shopping goods when we talk about it then product features are often more important to the consumer than the price for example furniture clothing etc seller must carry a wide assortment of uh, such products to satisfy the individual taste and have well trained sales people to provide information about the availability of such products and advise the customers so these are the shopping goods the third category is speciality goods now speciality goods have unique characteristics and brand identification for which a significant group of buyers is habitually willing to make a special purchasing effort so they are more expensive even than the shopping goods and more effort will be there put in by the buyer while buying the product these goods are purchased with special efforts and uh, like the customer will be willing to travel far away to buy such a product speciality goods do not involve the buyer in making comparisons they have made up their mind that i will buy uh, this product only the dealers do not need convenient location but they may let the prospective buyers know about their location so you may find only one dealer in a particular city or region they involve high financial outlay consumers have strong brand preferences and are willing to go extra mile to acquire their preferred brand the number of outlets in a city selling such items are limited as i said that in small cities there may be only one outlet selling this product in fact they uh, people living in small city may have to go to a bigger city to buy that product because there is a outlet over there say for example you know, expensive automobiles like audi or mercedes benz the outlets are limited in number and uh, especially in small cities they there might not be any outlet for buying this product jewelry expensive jewelry men suits or designer suit such type of such category of products come under comes under speciality goods the last category category under the shopping effort group is unsold goods now the, as the name suggests these are the goods that the consumer does not know about or knows about but does not normally think of buying for example obituary space gravestones or funeral services encyclopedias etc in most of this product the consumer tries to avoid such type of situation whereby they will have to buy these products so they are considered as unsought goods marketers nevertheless make an effort to remind the customers or prospective customers that such services such products are available whenever there will be a necessity so these are called unsought goods on the basis of durability we can say that the goods may be durable semi durable or non durable and uh, they, there may be services also so first of all let's talk about durable goods durable products can last for a long period of time and can be repeated uh, repeatedly used and by one or more persons so television computers refrigerator fans cars electronic items i uh, i uh, and i uh, irons vehicles all are examples of durable products important aspect of durable goods that the customers consider while buying these products are like the brand name company image uh, price quality including safety um, ease economy convenience and durability because these products are expected to give you benefit for a long period of time so they should should have a, a be of a Uh, high quality and uh, backed by uh, 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 a well renowned company so that there is product warranty also the features are also important including including size color shape weight etc after sale services are very much important including free installation home delivery training uh, repairing guarantee and warranty etc then there are non durable goods before that i must say that there are semi durables also which are uh, which may last for at least one year so uh, we are not uh, talking in detail about that uh, there are non durables these have a much shorter life even uh, if we compare with uh, the 
semi durables one semi durables like t-shirts or any uh, clothing material they will last for one or two years uh, unlike the uh, durable commodities which la last for longer time uh, non durables maybe they are consumables uh, they may be consumed within a day or that very particular minute or they may be consumed uh, by uh, say one month uh, like a toothpaste toothpaste may run for several days so these are non durable products they have a shorter life uh, for example fruits vegetables they these are perishables also some of them flowers cheese milk and other provisions are non non durable in nature they are also known as consumables consumables and some of them are fast perishable too mostly many of them are non branded they are frequently purchased products and can be easily easily bought from nearby outlets freshness pa packing uh, purity uh, and price are important criteria to purchase these products finally the services services are different than tangible objects intangibility variability inseparability perishability etc are the main features of the services so um, if services can't be seen or touched that's why they are intangible uh, they are available in variety of forms they you cannot separate the service provider from the service like a doctor uh, can only uh, provide the service and he cannot delegate that to any other person uh, they are whenever there is a service they that will be consumed then and there only and that's why they are perishable services make our life safe and comfortable and different types of services are there right from beauty parlor to the uh, railways they are services only trust reliability cost regularity and timing are very important in services um and different types of services as i said they may be there from police services to the um, uh, say transport transporters banking everything comes under services all marketing fundamentals are equally applicable to services marketing of services is the emerging facet of modern marketing and we will discuss services in services marketing after discussing the consumer products second category is industrial products industrial products are used as the inputs by manufacturing firms for further processes on the products or manufacturing other products some of the products are both industrial as well as consumer products certain kind of uh, machine oil that, that can be used in uh, uh, in sewing machines at home but they can be used in manufacturing outlets as well machinery components certain chemical supplies and services are out and out industrial products only and strict classification in terms of industrial consumer and consumer products is also not possible for example electricity petroleum products sugar cloth wheat computer etc they are used both in um, by the um, consumers also and also they are used by industry as against the consumer products the marketing of industrial products they differ in many ways uh, because you are not directly dealing with the consumers uh, there are institutional buyers and for them different techniques are used industrial products include machines and components raw material and supplies services and consumables or okay, sorry consultancies electricity and fuels etc the next heading is what is a sound product and what is its significance you know that a product which will satisfy the needs and wants of the customer in the best manner can be considered as a sound product now a product is not merely the one what the seller wants to sell it is uh, it must be the one that the buyer is willing to buy so buyer's willingness to buy the product makes a product sound product also this should be want satisfying or need satisfying beside that a sound product is offering a bundle of utilities so these bundle of utilities are associated with the commodity now this must be backed by a good brand name package packaging labeling or price various services should be attached to the product that makes the product all the more a sound product beside physical attributes it should satisfy the mental needs of the buyer a quality product is very important for an organization because it does away the necessity of aggressive advertising and high pressure salesmanship 
Also, the quality of sound product considerably reduces the problem of pricing, promotion and distribution. So it helps the other elements of the marketing mix also. So a sound product has an immense significance as an ingredient in a marketing mix. The qualities of a sound product are utility to the customers, brand, package and label should be there. Attractive color, beauty, uh, beauty, shape, finishing should be there. There should be different qualities in it or the quality of the product should be good. Reputation should be high of the brand. Price should be proper. Services should be attached with the product. Psychological factors also play a dominant role while a buyer purchases a product. So that should also be uh, taken care of. So all these makes the product a sound product. To summarize this lecture, we can say products are classified into consumer products or goods and industrial products. Consumer products can be further classified into convenience goods, shopping goods, speciality goods, durable goods, non-durable goods and services. On the other hand, industrial products can be machines, components, raw materials, supplies and electricity and fuels. A buyer does not buy only the physical and chemical attributes of a product. He actually buys want satisfaction and a sound product and is ex which is expected to fulfill the desires and satisfy the needs of the customer. A quality product does away with the necessity of aggressive advertising and high pressure salesmanship. Thank you very much students. So this was Product Decisions Part 1, Module 6, Lecture 2.